these birthday parties are no longer child's play these days. You know, and pin the tail on the donkey just is not that much fun anymore. <laughs> Lexington mom Beth Sager wanted to do something special for her daughter Catherine's ninth birthday, and it doesn't get much more special than Princess Sharon, a children's party planner who specializes in lavish events. Did you get a chance to stuff your poodle? The cost? Nearly one thousand dollars. Someone said, "Oh, I, you're just up the ante." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." no. Well, Beth won this event at an auction for the American Lung Association. Parties like this one are not unusual for Princess Sharon. Recently, Sharon put together a kids' party at the Ritz Carlton in Boston. The celebration was officially for two little girls celebrating their fourth birthday. But nearly 100 adults attended the soiree in full costume. We had a very extravagant、um, castle cake. We had a hundred-pound candy buffet, 30-foot-long princess table, and a 30-foot-long pirate table with custom centerpieces, big giant. And、so. how much did that cost? Do I have to say? <laughs> While Sharon won't discuss specifics, we managed to get her approximate price range.、Um, I do have tiers. You know, my parties can run anywhere from $700. All the way up to you know, hundred thousand. I mean, I, I can do extravagant events. Sharon does admit these glitzy glamour galas are not for everyone, and with a background in child development, she makes sure each of her events are age appropriate. You know, at first glance. It's glitzy, but it's, we don't just offer glitz and a way for moms to spend money. It's really an educational, enriching experience. I really believe that children take this with them long after they leave. But even the average party has a decent price tag attached with it. New England Sports Academy in Westwood is a popular party stop. One of the big attractions is we lay the kid down on the trampoline and pop them up on the trampoline and catch them and throw them into the pit, and they love it. Since the birthday team says the foam pit is the biggest hit, I can't just take their word for it. I've got to try it out. Woo! <laughs> the cost here, a cool three hundred dollars. We got a home baked cake, two dollars, and a card, and we were very happy. <laughs> for many parents, these prices are outrageous, and for those who don't have a ton of cash. The pressure to keep up can be stressful. Children get older. I think they start e- expecting more and more, and it's like you know they're trying to, you know, parents trying to outdo what they did the year before. When I was a kid, we were going to Sammy White's and going bowling for a birthday party, loaded up in the station wagon. John Bergandis owns Party Favors in Brookline. He's seen the size of his children's birthday section grow dramatically over the past two years. And now people have theme parties. We're doing this one this weekend. He's turning one and having a winter. Wonderland birthday for one-year-olds, awesome. Celebrities and reality shows also influencing the way parents spend money. Hip hop mogul P Diddy recently bought his son a three hundred and sixty thousand dollar Maybach like this one for his sixteenth birthday. Dr. Sharon Gordetsky, a child psychologist, says that is horrific. Is the message that. We, I love you more the more I spend on you. Also, what is the message about certain values? Parents should not feel pressured or guilty if they decide, because of their values or because of their financial situation, that they cannot spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a birthday celebration. Experts say when it comes to birthdays, just make sure the focus stays where it should, on your child's special day. Aaron Hawksworth, Fox 25 News.